Good morning. Good morning. Hello, kitty. You got my finger. You got my finger. It's like you know I'm filming you and you never smile. Hello. Shake it up. <laughs> Alright, Mummy's gonna go make some oh, and nice smile. Mummy's gonna go make some breakfast and then you can have some breakfast. Good morning, guys. I know it's been ages since I vlogged. It took me a little while to get over that sick bug that I had. And two, Delilah has been very difficult. Um, I mean, as you know, she's been very difficult the last month and a half with sleep i mean she's always been quite a what what they define as a high maintenance baby and lots of people say oh how do you know that she's just do, she's just a baby she's um just doing what babies do it's your first so how would you know but trust me like i just thought oh yeah she's needy because that's what babies do and i kind of accepted that but then when people have looked after her or been around her including my mum my grandma um you know doug's family they all go She's a little bit more hard work than you guys ever were. So she's a little bit needier, but that's fine. We sort of worked around that. I, sh I kind of just, whenever I need to do anything around the house, I bring her with me and she just watches me do that. I can at least put her down now and she'll just watch me. Not for long, but long enough. I'm making breakfast, so I need to multitask here. I'm gonna have some Nutella <coughs> toast, because why not? So yeah, she's always, she's always been a little bit needier than some others and like, Oh my gosh, she's the only baby I know that if you try and put her in a baby carrier, the pram, her coat or any, like anything, she screams like it's the end of the world. And even in the baby carrier, she screams so much when you put her in that. And I don't know any other baby that does that. All the babies from our baby group get put into their prams and they're fine. Get put into their baby carriers, fine, Delilah, no, until we get outside. And also with the baby carriers, you can't just walk around the house with her you have to be walking outside for her to calm down. The same with the pram. Once she's in the pram and she's outside, she's fine. Yeah, anyway, so where was I going with that? She's always been like that since day one, but the last month and a half, she's been quite difficult with um, waking up a lot at night time, being very, very, very grumpy in the day. But I've just put that down to probably the three month growth spurt and we are now almost at four months. So I know that there's a growth spurt around 16 weeks, which she is now. And also at four months, you get the dreaded sleep regression. So I kind of, I think the last month has been maybe a mixture of the three month growth spurt. Oh, the toast is not plugged in. Yeah, the three month growth spurt, which has then gone into maybe an early four month sleep regression slash growth spurt. It's been really hard. Um, but the last two weeks, and you may know if you follow me on Snapchat and Twitter, I have Honestly, I don't know how I've kept it together. Every night she's woken up every hour, 45 minutes. And I just, yeah, I was kind of really losing the will to live. And then during the day for the last week, she hasn't even like fed during the day. So the whole day she would be fussing on my boob. She wouldn't want to eat. So I couldn't really get much done because usually that was my time to go on the computer. I also quite like to go out and grab a coffee in the day. And I usually have to get some stuff in the shops. So I usually go and grab a coffee and I sit there with her and I feed her and I have some lunch and I um, I do some bits on my phone. I'm telling you, it's just been screaming fits and I don't want to feed and it's been really, really hard. And so she's also been fighting her sleeps in the day. So um, it doesn't matter what I do, pram, rocking her, boob, she has just not been going to sleep. Yesterday it got so bad where she wouldn't stop screaming when I was out with my grandma that I took her to the doctors because I thought, you know what, 
Although, like, I hate it when people say there must be something wrong with your baby because they're really needy and crying. And I just think that's just what babies do. But let me get a plate. <laughs> um, but something just felt... I don't know, I just... I wanted to check there was nothing wrong because she's also been pulling on her ears loads. But that's because she might be really tired because she's not sleeping. So she's been pulling on her ear loads and rubbing her face. Um, and I'm, pr I'm so sure she's not teething. And the doctor looked at her and said she was all good and fine doesn't seem like anything's wrong which is great but also sort of like oh my god what's wrong so yeah i'm i mean although she's been drawling lots and pulling on her ears i really don't think she's teething but i mean she could be so yesterday was just oh it was just i was just at my wit's end like yesterday i was just like i can't i can't oh my gosh i can't even go out in public now i'm gonna lose my sanity here but then last night as you can tell, because I'm in a really good mood. This has just gone on for like seven minutes. I've just rambled for seven minutes and I feel like I've started on a really controversial subject that everyone's gonna be talking about now. And everyone's gonna have their opinions and whatnot. But yeah, last night we went to bed at half nine. She woke up at two and then she woke up at six and has just woken up now at eight. So um, we did have a kind of quite a good night about a week and a half ago and it was a bit of a one-off i'm really hoping that last night wasn't a one-off as well we will see quick pump in some milk just to make sure that we have enough when we leave delilah later she's already got some in the freezer in the fridge but i just wanted to make sure that she's got more than enough for when we leave her with my mum for a few hours later this pump by the way i get asked about it quite a bit i will link it in the description but it is by this brand Medella, i think that's how you say it it's really comfortable to use it works really well um i really recommend it Now to feed this little one. I can't believe how much we just got done in the last half an hour and a half. Got up at half eight and realised we needed to leave the house at ten. So I'm like cleaning bottles, pumping, feeding Delilah, getting ready, putting washing on. But we made it out in time. Just had to nip to the post office to drop off um, a parcel to return. We are on our way to go meet Doug's twinny Melissa. She's getting married next September. So she's got lots of wedding-y things happening at the moment, including this afternoon. We're off to go look at some flowers for her wedding. We've arrived and we're just waiting for Melissa. So we're just having a little wander around the gardens. It's so bright, it's impossible to see anything. But it's a really lovely day. It's freezing. It's probably the coldest it's been yet, but it's really sunny. It's one of those lovely crisp sunny days. Bit of hard work on the gravel isn't it? <laughs> You're right in there little munchkin. Look at the Christmas tree. Oh I love these. I'm gonna try making my own ones of these this year. Oh my gosh I love this place. It's so rustic. And look at all the succulents and cacti. Mm. This place is so sweet, I love it. <laughs> You're copying me taking Instagram photos now, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a little cafe through here, so we'll probably get a little, little something to eat and drink afterwards and I'm sure this little man will want something as well in a bit. I love this car seat because you can pop this bit all the way down so it works as a sun shield. Hello! <laughs> Got a firm grip on Sophie haven't you? It's message in New Zealand. Oh hi. Yeah so I saw that she was for uh, we were even, even engaged that I was like that's so oh, pretty. Cool. So, oh lovely. Yeah so oh, that's really the link. It was, so what Oh, cool. Oh, she's lovely. Yeah, she's. Do you stay in touch with her? Have you kept in touch? Not with her? really. Um, she's in New Zealand. Mm. Um, working in a pizza parlour or something. <laughs> but um, 
so it'd be good if you just have a little flip mm -hmm. here actually. Father's on the I think definitely my dad. I don't oh, think yeah. Ben's dad would be yeah. sure that we're, what I do is what you like. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I will. Uh... Put the lights. <laughs> no, you can't put them in your mouth. I know that's what you're thinking. <laughs> you're trying to grab it. <laughs> so I just can't, can't quite reach. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> <laughs> cheeky. Look at that little gin. So we finished up at the flower nursery, and um, yeah, she's so happy in here. We're in Gap at the moment. We've just popped into town because. I needed to buy some tights, needed to get her some more teats for her bottles because the ones that we have, even though we've only used them once, they've gone really um, weird and scaly and I need to find a top to wear for tonight. Yeah? Spotted the camera again, haven't you? Do you want the camera? Do you want to have the camera? <laughs> That's a nice angle, Delilah. You can't, he's looking. He's looking. Got the camera. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You got the camera. Can I have it back, please? Not in the mouth, please. <laughs> Can I have the camera back? Excuse me. Can I have it? Can I have it? No, I'll do a swap. Do you want the giraffe? Do you want the giraffe instead? <laughs> no. <laughs> Take the giraffe. Take Sophie. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the weather's taken a turn for the worse. <laughs> it's absolutely chucking it down. I look ridiculous right now. We'll just run into the car. We're going to go home. How was it so sunny earlier? <laughs> Welcome to England. I have come home to a couple of parcels, so I'm going to open them, see what they are. I'm not too sure what they are, so it's going to be a little bit of a surprise for me. I know what this is. I ordered this. See, I forget what I order because the only time I get to order stuff is when I'm feeding Delilah in the middle of the night. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's easy, to, it's easy to forget when you order things when you're half asleep. So I got this from this works i have the normal adult version of this it's the baby sleep pillow spray it's got really good reviews it's not got any nasties in it so hopefully it shouldn't react with her skin but i thought it might be quite nice to spray onto her bed you know half an hour before she goes to bed i'll link this in the description along with what i'm wearing lots of you on snapchat have been asking me where this is from so i'll link this i'll link this I link everything, seriously. 90% of the stuff you see in a video that I'm wearing or that I show in like a little haul style, it will be available in the description. A couple of letters. <gasps> oh! These are our Paolo Nutini tickets. We're seeing Paolo Nutini on the night before New Year's in Edinburgh. So exciting. And then I think this is probably very boring, so I'll quickly open this. I have no idea what this is. Oh God. Okay. It looks like no note. I'm so confused. Actually, I think Origins contacted me months ago. I'm 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 thinking like before Delilah was even born. Maybe that's how they have my address. Ooh, cool. So in here, oh, this looks exciting. I love Origins. A revitalizing cleansing body mask. So we have a body mask here, a face mask. I think this face mask is a powder and you mix it up yourself with water. And we're gonna pop this stuff to the side. I need to now get on and uh, I need to clean some bottles. We're going out, did I mention? I don't know, we're, we're going to the pub. <gasps> I know, parents let loose. Going to the pub for 
a friend and his girlfriend birthday drinks we're only gonna stay for a few hours i'm only really allowed one drink but i'm really looking forward to going because this is the first time i'm going out not out out just out um but yeah obviously we've left delilah before as you guys know from the last um, maybe three vlogs ago two or three vlogs ago so i've been out and i before that i'd left her numerous times but this is the first time we're going to a pub in our town since she was born and i actually get to oh yeah li literally it's been a year it's been a year since i've gone to a pub and actually drunk because i've gone to pubs with friends when i was pregnant but obviously i was on the soft drinks so yeah i'm gonna allow myself to have one glass of wine that's all i can have because obviously i need to be responsible and also um i'm breastfeeding so i can't have much yeah right i need to sort these bottles out raise your feet there they are once again i've been running around like a mad woman trying to get bits done delilah's bottles are sorted sorry you can probably hear her on the uh, what are they called mobiles baby mo no monitor baby monitor dog's trying to get her off to sleep she seems a little bit out of sorts today i mean i know i said at the beginning of the vlog that she's been so so fussy the last month and this week she's been really bad and then today she was really lovely and now she just doesn't seem i don't know she just seems a bit upset and grizzly but i think it's that time of the night yeah i've just made dinner um so i'm gonna quickly wolf this down i've left dogs in the oven to keep warm because he's getting her off to sleep hopefully once i've eaten this i need to get myself sorted so i'm gonna put on some lippy don't really need to do anything with my hair um and then i need to get dressed figure out what i'm gonna wear did you get her off to sleep <laughs> just got back from being out i forgot to vlog before because as usual lost track of time and before i knew it i needed to get some clothes on and head out the door delilah's got her first cold she's four months next week uh well when you watch this it'll probably be this week so she almost got to four months without getting ill she just all of a sudden got really grizzly and like sniffy and she's got runny nose and she's coughing a little bit delilah's not had any of her bottle which is kind of annoying because that's a whole five six ounces almost of milk that i pumped that she's just wasted but as long as she's fine um, i'm gonna try breastfeeding her and hopefully she can feed a little bit better it's just because she can't breathe out of her nose i'll quickly show you what i wore and then i'm gonna say goodbye because i've got to take my makeup off and then my mum's got to go home and then we've got to sort delilah out bless her i feel so sad for, sorry for her it's her first cold and like i don't know what to do i just got to give her lots of cuddles and lots of love and lots of poopy and hopefully she'll be all right tomorrow morning we're going to town and we'll get some um some solution for like some little nasal drops for her i have this coat on from top shop i will link everything in the description like i said earlier on in this video this is from top shop you can actually take this collar off this is what the coat looks like the only thing i don't like is that it has fake pockets so i don't know where to put my hands and then i just have this denim pinny on because i never get to wear dresses anymore because it's not very breastfeeder friendly when i can i make the most of wearing a dress just wearing this pinny from topshop actually i've got all topshop on today this is topshop as well it's sort of this frilly neck and frilly sleeve top it kind of reminds me of when i was little tops like this with the um i don't know if you can see you can't see because it's really bad lighting um but with the frilly sleeves there you go was so big in the 90s i'm wearing that with i'm pretty sure these are maternity tights but no one has to see <laughs> yeah and then i just had my boots on from top shop so that's my outfit and i'm gonna go because i need to get myself ready for bed and sort little squidge out how are you feeling sausage did you have an all right time with nana did you have a good time with nana you just want lots of cuddles now <laughs> this one's had some more cow pulse, so she's She's okay, she's just very snuffly, aren't you? Oh, listen to you. <laughs> oh dear, oh bless you. All this milk I'm having to chuck away. So we're gonna go and we'll see you very, very soon. Say night night. Oh. <laughs> night night everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>